The Andersonville Arts Weekend is wrapping up, bringing more than 100 artists and vendors to Chicago's north side. The festival gives artists the chance to showcase their works and the stories behind them. Sean Lewis reports. On the far north side, a weekend of art. And where at Gethsemane Garden Center, longtime employee Samuel Sines has tended to the flora and fauna for years. The people that I work with are incredible. Though his budding artistic career is now on display, just feet away in an annual tradition. It feels incredible, to be honest with you. Like, um, better than anything I've, you know, experienced in my art career. Showing one piece, showing three pieces or five pieces, or selling artwork is the same feeling every time. He is one of the dozens of Chicago-based artists showcased in this year's Andersonville Arts Weekend. And though he works with multiple mediums. Over there, a ceramic mosaic. Uh, I've got a paper collage. Inside, I've got a wood sculpture. It is this painting in black and white that tells a deeper story. It started off with words in a composition book. One night I was looking down at the cover being a random black and white cover in the old composition books that we're all used to. Uh, I thought, what if I did my words in black and white symbols as opposed to, uh, you know, letters and words, then people would be able to kind of see my, my journal entries as opposed to reading them. The symbols, he says, are a nod in part to his Mexican heritage and growing up in Chicago. The Mexican tradition is you you do what gives you life. What gave him life are the details inside his black and white series of paintings that he calls letters to Becky. Becky is my sister. She died when she was 26. I was uh, 19 and uh, I've been telling her about my life ever since. I'm 53 now, so you can imagine how many stories I have to tell. Just down the street, Los Manos Gallery on Foster. Chicago always treats me well. A young artist is just starting out. This is who I am, and this is what brought me here. Ian Peterson Garcia just moved to Chicago from Puerto Rico. His current show is his first show ever. With enhanced pictures he snapped in New York City, his artistic eye comes naturally. My abuela does mosaic, my aunt, she does her own woodwork. My dad is a painter. My mom was a jeweler. You know, Puerto Rico has this music and culture. It's always uh, an open to, to, to the good, to the goodness of people. It is goodness of people and their stories told through art in this unique way. So as opposed to an arts fair where we might set up tents and people can walk through, this is an entire self-guided tour of the businesses of Andersonville hosting individual artists. In a neighborhood born of Swedish roots, it is through art that we find a tree now of many cultures growing. It's my way of keeping her spirit alive, keeping my art alive. And of family stories told on canvas. As long as I continue to talk to her, uh, then I'll continue to speak. A bridge of culture and of worlds coming together along one street. In Andersonville, Sean Lewis, WGN News.